forgive the change in camera. I left and brought the arm to film from above, but not the one to turn the camera straight. So we're gonna have to rely on my cell phone because I don't wanna delay these as far as getting them up. But here is Mr. Tigger. His tummy thing is sewn on. I kind of have him sitting at an angle. There are his ears and got him stuffed crooked. There we go. His nose, his beady little eyes. And only thing I can say about this pattern that I'm not crazy about, that neck, even though I stuffed it and restuffed it, is just not quite as stiff as I would like. But I guess that's why his snout is made like it is because it does help hold it up. And I did go in and tack his tail down because it was just irritating me. So that is it. That is the finished Tigger. I am going to actually put this at the beginning of the videos. So forgive me for not turning it around and showing my face. It's irritating me. There we go. Um, but... As always, there are a few disclaimers. One, Tigger is not my creation. This pattern is not my creation. Tigner, Tigger belongs, I'm sure, to Disney, probably by now. And then, of course, the pattern book is a leisure arts pattern. So as a result, as always, I cannot give you the pattern. I have a lot of people contact me and ask, and I just cannot do it. It's not mine to give. Um, I have been told that it's free online. I don't know if it is or isn't. I don't have a copy that's been like downloaded, so I can't help with that. The other thing is I am not a professional crocheter. This is just my interpretation of it. And because of those two facts combined, I have not, let me see, how can I put this as a disclaimer? I have not shown everything that there is to be shown on each, you know, round or row. And I have also not made any effort to go back. And if I've misspoken or anything like that and didn't catch it at the time, I've not made any effort to go back and correct things like that. So this is truly just uh, me taking you along as I crocheted and hopes that it will help you. Um, bum, 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 bum. Is there anything else I did differently? I think that's everything. I did find the ears a little frustrating to sew on, but that is what it is. So this is, sorry about the shadow, but it's the end of the day and I have finished. And I want to get these videos edited. This is Tigger and that's what he should look like. And they've got theirs, sorry about the getting closer, sitting up a little better than I do, but you can see his face better that way. So guys, this is going to go in front of every one of the videos and at the end of the last one. So somewhere around, I don't know, hopefully the end of this week, beginning of next week, which should be like the third or fourth week of February. I'm drawing a blank right now. I'll be getting these videos up for you. So thanks for watching and thanks for tagging along for this. If you like these kind of videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and click the like button. It just lets me know, have a better idea of what kind of content to do. And the other thing would be if you have a request or a suggestion for something else that I should make, do a crochet or knit along for, please let me know in the comments or come find me over on Facebook. I'm over there at, at home with Shara C. And I'm on Instagram, but honestly, very rarely. I just don't check it a lot. So thanks again. And let me stop rambling and get this going. The dark pink. So I think we're starting with his mouth color, which I actually don't think I, well, yes, I did. I brought this dark pink for his mouth, which is just called pink. And then this lighter pink, soft pink for his nose. I, I'm not gonna lie, the picture in the book that they called dark pink actually almost looks like a burgundy-ish, maroon, whiny color, and that's not 
not something I have any of in my stash. So I'm going with these. And just going to be happy. Because, well, you yeah. know, life is too short to sit and worry about it. I'll be splitting the videos. Um, probably back there right after the ears, just so I can, like, keep this where it's easier for you guys to find what's what. Find the end in my yarn. And, of course, now that I'm trying to do this on camera, it's going to take me forever, but that's okay. You guys can fast forward if you want. In an effort to make sure that I don't, like, get lost in the editing, I'm probably going to do far less editing on these than I have in past videos. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay, with the face, it says to start with the mouth. In my book, this is page 15. Chain 8. Single crochet in the back ridge and across. Same thing we did on the ear. single crochets rows two through five we're just going to single crochet in each single crochet across so that's two three four five four times seven is 28 got it So that was through row five. Row six is actually a decrease row. It says chain one, turn, work, beginning decrease. Let me see what they're calling a beginning decrease. Joining, back ridge, chaining, back loop, front loop. Ah, joint pull the first two, yarn over, oh, oh, good grief. It's, it's exactly what I would have assumed. Literally, go through your first one, pull up a loop, go through your second one, pull up a loop, just like a regular decrease, pull through all three. Single crochet in next three, and then another decrease. One, two, three, and then another decrease. Whoops. Chain one and turn. 
work a beginning decrease again single crochet in the middle one and then an ending decrease so that you end up with three stitches total slip stitch finish it off kind of thing I am leaving a tail and that is our mouth and it is tiny now it says that we need yellow and with the right side of the mouth facing us and this is this way so we started here went down this way this is our right side so the right side is facing us join our yellow with a single crochet in the free loops free loops at ch of chain at the base on the last single crochet of row one okay so this is row one my last single crochet would have been I went chain that way would have been back that way so my last single crochet is here where my tail is coming out I'm joining it in the end of the doo -doo -doo -doo, we're gonna join it single crochet at the end of the next seven rows so we're gonna join it here like this see I've got my tail here I'm joining here with a single crochet which means I'm gonna pull a loop through and instead of pulling that through like a slip stitch I'm gonna wrap it and pull it through both loops and then we're gonna single crochet in the next seven rows so one in each row so one two three four five six and seven so we have now worked down one of the sides of the tongue and we're up to where our three stitches were that ended <clears throat> the mouth they're saying I'm calling it a tongue I guess mouth whatever term you want to use here now three single crochet in each of the next three single crochet I'm going to pull that last stitch out and kind of put it down between these last two rows sort of so that I can do three in that tongue easily so it says three so one two three and then one two three and then one two three okay so what you've got here across the end is nine single crochets three in the corner single crochet three in the middle and three in the end which kind of curves off the face here or around the tongue and now we are going to single crochet in the end of the next seven rows I always find this harder on one end than the other but let's see here get my fingers to work yeah that's a tight one one two three four five six seven yep five six and seven now it says to single crochet in the last few stitches across this base which should in theory be seven so let's see if I've got it right one two three four 
five. I've not made Tigger before, so you're going to see mistakes and all. I will pull them out and show you. Okay, that worked out to be seven. So in theory, I have 25 single crochet. So let me count them and see. Hmm. And I've got something wrong. Let me check that again. Three single crochet in each of the next three single crochet. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm wondering if I should stop here and then just do <clears throat> the eighth one. Let's see if that gives us 25 instead of going across that end. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, Okay, so we do not work across the end. It's just telling us to actually do a single crochet in that chain so that we have eight on this side, our nine on this side, and our eight on that side. So we're going to work around this way, I see. Okay, row two, chain one and turn. And we're just gonna at least for now, this next row is just an increase row, very straightforward. We're going to start with a chain two and then work in a multiple of nine stitches. Okay, let me count those just to make sure I have my 29. We have 29, and I see that it says that I'm actually going to need a marker on my next round. I didn't bring any out here with me, so I'm just going to snip a piece of yarn to use. Okay. Row three. Single crochet in the first one. 
and place a marker around that stitch. So I'm actually going to place marker around single crochet just made and single crochet in same stitch. Alright, I'm going to do my second single crochet so I can easily pull my hook out and I'm going to put a marker in that stitch. I'm just going to use a yarn marker. Um, I tend to accidentally pull the others out, but this works pretty well for me. I should, in theory, always use a contrasting color, but I'm too lazy to get up and find another strand of yarn. So, Alright, there is our pink marker in there. Okay, so now, so we started with a single crochet and a single crochet in the same stitch and in the next 10 stitches. <clears throat> Five, six, Seven, my scissors are in the way, there we go, nine and ten, okay, increase, and then five, And then another increase. And then 10. And the last one and that gets us through <clears throat> goodness guys excuse me gets us through row three if you want to stop and count you should have 33 stitches Okay, our increases are actually kind of rounding the corners here.
Okay, and in our last single crochet, we're going to do two single crochets. So I'm going to kind of pull my yarn marker to the side out of my way. And that is the end of do, 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 row four. Okay, and that should be 39 single crochets, and then we have to do five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're going to do five rows even. I don't even know what 39 times 5 is. That is more math than I want to do. So, row That was 39, so that was row 5. Okay, I have four more rounds to do here. I don't know if for editing purposes, I'm just going to have you sit and watch. Hopefully you're crocheting along. Um, honestly, one of the things I found tedious was actually cutting and splicing and etc. the videos for these. So I think I'm just going to crochet. You can watch or fast forward. It doesn't matter to me. It's whatever's easiest for you. I think my leg is going to sleep. Thirty-nine. So that is round or row six. And basically, guys, this is what sort of what shape you have, and you're just working around, kind of like 
I don't know, rainbow, I guess, for lack of a lack of a more technical term. An arch. Arch works, I guess. So it's six. Got three more rows to rows to go. I want to say round for some reason. If you hear a noise in the background, my heat is running. It is cold. And I'm just not willing to turn the heat off to not have the noise. Hope I miscounted on that one or I have increased a stitch. So that was seven. Okay, so that was row eight, now row nine. Hmm, Tigger's gonna be big. Seriously considering doing his nose the same shade of pink I used here. We'll see.
and that was nine. Okay, row 10 is a decrease row. So we start with a beginning decrease, single crochet in 12. Decrease twice. Oh. Forgive the sniffles. It's just that time of year. Single crochet in three. Decrease twice. And single crochet in the last 12. I'm going to count and make sure I've done this right. And I have not. What have I done wrong? Oh, no, that's right, because then I'm going to decrease again. Okay. I'm just going to say something is wrong. Okay, row 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, and 13 are going to be decreases. The important thing is just to count your stitches at the end of your row if you're uncertain because it keeps you from having to go back later and pull out multiple rows. Mm, I am disturbing my cat. Can you hear him clawing his scratching post? So, row 11, you start with a decrease, you do some single crochets, etc. So, let's see. Decrease. Then even for a while. decrease twice. These two decreases here are kind of, give me just a second, I'll show you what I'm, kind of pulling the jaw up, mm, I didn't put that where you could see it, sorry about that, where it's going to curve over and under. So that's two decreases. Mm. I was wrong. It was supposed to be one decrease. So it was beginning decrease, single crochet in 10, decrease, single crochet in 5. Decrease, single crochet in 10,
and then a decrease in the last two. So that's row 11. Row 12, we're going to single crochet, decrease twice. So let's see, we're going to single crochet in the first 10. Now decrease twice. For some reason I was running my rows together. Single crochet in the next single crochet. Decrease twice. Again this is pulling those corners tighter. And then let's double count. Yep, we have 10 left, so that's correct. So now 13. We're continuing to decrease in that corner. If the camera wobbles, my cat is sniffing the tripod. Okay, this is row 13. In our next row, we're actually going to seam it together, but I actually want you to see what you should have. Okay, you should have what looks like his mouth and then his jaw shape coming around. And then on this side, you can see that with our next row, we're going to join this here. So... It says to fold the right sides together, which is naturally how mine is working out. This is my right side. Um, if you're not comfortable or if it gets too cumbersome, it is just really easy to take a safety pin, a little scrap of paper, and always mark your right side. So I'm going to chain one and turn with right sides together we're going to pull this seam these where we've worked our last row of single crochets we're going to pull this together matching the 11 single crochets on each side work through both thicknesses and we're going to just single crochet this together and it's going to be 11 stitches
Now I am actually working mine through all four of the loops because I actually think this will probably be played with by children and I want it to be nice and sturdy. You could probably like just work through the two inside and might have it a little bit smoother. I just don't know. I'm after sturdy because these things are a lot of work to make and I really, you know, want it to last. So end it off. Turn your jaw right side out and this is what it looks like seamed together there. And look, we have a Tigger jaw. So we are making progress. I think the train is getting ready. Yep. I recently learned that there was a term for that wanderlust you feel when you hear a train horn and right now that I'm like in crocheting mode I cannot think of the term but I will try to look it up.